What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to drink water from a lake and feel your thirst. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, as so you can see I have this very nice jungle environment and I have this water plane, which is as simple as use a plane mesh with a water material. So you can just go here into uh, the shape section, add a plane, position it, scale it correctly, and then just, you know, add a water plane, okay? As simple as that. Now, of course, what we need to do is be able to interact with this water. Now, there are many ways that we can do this, but we, of course, are going to be doing a line trace by channel. So an invisible right cast that we go from our character to, you know, forwards. And then if we detect the water, we will go ahead and drink water. So um, the thing is that what we need to do is create a new channel for our water that way we can only detect water and it can be more performant, uh, you know, optimized and it will just be more ideal. So what we need to do is go up into edit, go to project settings and then go under collision. And you can see that we have this category called trace channel. So we're going to go ahead and just add a new trace channel and this will basically just be called water and the default response is going to be ignore. So all the plants and everything like that and objects in the world by default will have this trace channel as ignore as we only want it on certain stuff. So let's click on accept, close, and now if we select again the water plane and go a bit down, you can see that in collision presets, if I set this to custom, I can expand it and I can set everything to be on block. Importantly, the water. And that's it. Now, as you can see, the water is ticked as block, so we will detect this uh, water plane. So of course I now we need to do the line trace when we press the E key or whatever we want. So let's go to our third, uh, well, first person character blueprint or whatever character blueprint you're using in your case. And let's go down to the event graph and just add the E key, okay, for example. Now I'm gonna do it very fast, just adding an E key from a node here. But of course you could create a proper input action if you want to do so. All right, so now we're going to do is when we press the E key, we're going to do a line trace by channel, which is what I mentioned before, right? An invisible right that will go from one point to another. And, you know, it will detect different channels. In this case, of course, we want to select our water channel that we just created so we can only detect our water in here in our level. Now, what is going to be our start point? Well, our start point with the default camera, get world, location, plug to start. And the um, end point will be the get forward vector of this camera, right? Where the camera is looking at um, times a value, okay? So it can go a bit forwards. Let's right click, convert it to a float so it can be a nice number. And let's put like 250, right? So our, uh, you know, uh, right guess will have this distance. Now I'm gonna add both vectors together and that will be our end point. If I say here for duration, you can see that when I go ahead and press play from here, Okay, and press the E key, we're having this line trace. Now, maybe it's a bit too small, but no, I think it's good. And you can see it will go ahead and be, you know, going and, you know, you will be able to detect objects, okay? Which is what we want. So, let's go back to our first person character blueprint. And we're going to have the return value. So, we're going to make a branch here. So, if we have actually collided with something, we're going to break this um, out hit which will give us all the parameters and information about what we have just, um, you know, hit. In this case, we are not really gonna be using any of these because, well, if we detect the object, that means that it's gonna have the water trace channel. So 100%, uh, yes or yes, it's gonna be water that we can drink. So we don't need to do anything with the hit actor, like, you know, so we can just delete this. And now we just need to drink water. For example, we can just put it print for now, which will be, drinking water and now we would basically you know see that drinking water uh, print so let's hit play you go here as you can see we can still not detect our um, water so make sure to go to again the water plane and uh, make sure that the water plane itself has collision okay so for this I'm gonna go for collision and add a box simplify collision Press save, go down, and then disable the uh, visibility and camera uh, on collision. So the mesh itself will have collision, but only 
for the water trace. And now as you can see, it is detecting, it is hitting with that red square. And at the top left of the corner of the screen, you can see the drinking water um, text appearing, which is pretty nice. So basically, of course, it is working. Let's also go and just put the uh, can character step on to none, okay? All right, so with that said, uh, we're good to go. Now we just need to, of course, fill in our thirst. So what we need to do is just create a new variable. For example, it's gonna be thirst, and it's gonna be a, a float value, right? Which will basically increase. So this will increase by a certain number. What number, what tell you prefer. For now, let's play, like, for example, just by one, okay? And then we're gonna set this thirst to be this new calculation. And then we're gonna make sure that um, this is, you know, uh, less than 100. So if it's uh, less than 100, sorry, if it's more than 100, okay, we are going to let's put 100 here, set the thirst to just be 100, okay? So it will be hard coding the max thirst to 100. And that's it, let's put by default like 20 to have a default value. And now the only thing that we need is to showcase this thirst as UI. So let's go to the uh, content browser, right click, create a new user interface, which will be a widget blueprint. Normal user widget, let's name this something as WB underscore thirst. Open this up. And now the only thing we need to do is add a canvas panel to the hierarchy. So that way we can add objects now to the screen and we're gonna be adding this progress bar. So let's place this anchor at the, let's say, bottom left we could do, all right? And then I'm gonna set the position X and Y to zero, zero, and alignment 0.5 and 0.5, right? Then I'm gonna go ahead and just increase the size on X and decrease it on Y, and then just adjust here the position. So it will be a bit, there we go. Okay, that's a bit nice, all right? And then just to preview this, we can add a percent, which this value goes from zero to one. For example, if we put 0.7, it will be, for example, 70%. And I think that this color is pretty good by default. So I'm gonna really like this. And there we go, this is our water. And I'm, maybe, I'm gonna make it a bit bigger just for the purpose of the tutorial so you can kind of see it better. And just more like this. All right, there we go. So this will be our water, um, or our thirst. And now the only thing that we need to do is bind this percentage value with our variable that we have here in the first person character blueprint. So to do this, let's go to the percent, create a binding, and now it will constantly update this percent with a value. So what we need to do is basically get the player character, okay, which will be in our level, and we're gonna cast to what? Well, in this case, the first person character blueprint, which is the one that our character will have in our level. In this case, you can use whatever one you're using. And then we're gonna have access to the thirst variable. And the only thing we need to do is divide this by our max health, which in this case is 100, as I mentioned before. And I plug in the return value. And why we're doing this? Well, as I mentioned before, this percentage value only goes from zero to one. So that's why I need to divide it by the max amount. So it will give us a value from zero to one. And now, yes, with that said, we're good to go. The only thing we need to do is create this widget when we play the game. So let's go up into the begin play. And right after we add the input and so on, I'm gonna just create a widget. And this widget is gonna be the thirst widget. I'm gonna just add this to the viewport so it will appear at the player's screen. And now, yes, if I right click and play from here, you can see that if I drink, boom, drinking water and the water in the fills up as you can see now maybe it's uh, not a lot I need to add maybe more than one for example could do in three so or in five seven right and that way you can see that our character is going ahead and drinking water which is really really cool and you know you can play around with that uh, make sure also that uh, all the objects in the level have the um, you know collision set to uh, falls in water which they should by the boat, okay, so we cannot drink from plants or the ground or anything like that, it's only from the water itself. So that's it, guys. I found this tutorial helpful. I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials, so check them out. Uh, join my Discord server to talk with me and other devs. Follow me on my socials. And now, yes, with all that said, bye bye.